For the sitting in a chair alternative to side lying sit up, we start with the back of the chair against our left outer thigh. Your knees are pointed to the left side of your chair. The back of your chair runs down your left hand side. Take your arms out in an arrow shape when I instruct the floor lying yogis and bring your arm behind you in an arc at chest height. Arch your back with the others when instructed. Focus inward as, I bring the, as you bring the arm back, noticing which part of your thoracic spine is stiffest. For the sit-up itself, you're going to follow the same instructions, placing your left hand on the side of your head, turning your nose forwards and crunching in the side of your right waist in a side bend. You can take your right arm to a convenient position to support you, the chair seat or a nearby leg of chair. You will need to release your grip when you internally and externally rotate the shoulder forward, rolling it backwards and forwards when you're in the equivalent in the sit-up position. Try not to rush coming out of the side bend. It's the lengthening process we're interested in rather than con the contraction. When you're comparing both sides at the end of the movement, turn back to normal sitting chair position with your knees forwards and close your eyes. Investigate how much freedom you have in your thoracic spine, the side waist and the shoulder and shoulder blades. Side lying sit up. We're going to start with a recline twist to begin to gently release the vertebral joints and warm them up. When you're lying on your side in bed, the underside hips sink into the mattress, but sometimes not enough to prevent a tightening in the top side of the waist, causing a curvature in your spine and imbalances in your body. As we go into this twist, we, you might need something for your arm to land on, especially if you've got stiff shoulder joints, such as a bolster, brick, block or pillow. So have that nearby. Start by lying on your left hand side. You can have a pillow under your head, poking it out more behind you than in front, because you're going to be twisting and turning your head backwards. Draw your knees up to hip height, ankles in line with the knees in an L shape. Make sure, so therefore, make sure your ankles are not tucked underneath your bottom. Feet and ankles are matched. Bring your arms out in front of you like an arrow. Inhale. Exhale and rainbow the arm above then behind you, following it with your eyes. Landing on your support behind you if you need it. Now gently arch your low back to see if you can get a little more twist. Inhale. Exhale and draw the arm back over the top to meet its neighbour again in the arrow. Inhale. Exhale and being really focused on your experience in the thoracic spine as you do this, begin to twist once more, taking the arm over the top of you, not behind your head but over the top of your shoulders in a big rainbow arc, following the movement with your head and eyes. Gently arch your low back. See if you can get a little more twist. Then inhale, exhale and come back. One last time in your own breath rate. Really focusing inward. Noticing where you feel pain and stiffness. Or which part of your thoracic is a little more jammed than another part. Now leave your arm behind you, supported if necessary. Take your left hand and put it under your ear. Open the elbow out. We're going to do a slow sit up here. The important thing is, you're not going to draw your nose down towards your knees. You're going to push it up towards the ceiling. So you're not shortening in the front of your neck as you do this, but keeping the front of the neck long. Inhale. And on the exhale, lift your head straight up towards the ceiling with support from your hand. Nose up, not nodding down towards the hips. Feel the ribs and side waist muscles contracting. This is how they will be when you're in bed and also if you're mousing on your computer. You tend to shorten the side waist muscles as your arm comes forward all day. 
Inhale, exhale and very slowly and smoothly bring your head back down and completely relax. You're retraining the brain here so go slowly and let those neural pathways begin to repattern. Inhale, exhale and take this side lying sit up one more time noticing the deep contraction in your rib cage your upper side waist and right down into your hip and even possibly your groin inhale exhale and slowly relax back down after this relaxation do you notice that you're a little more twisted now almost with that back of shoulder coming down onto the ground. Let's see if we can improve it by doing it one more time. Inhale, exhale, a little bit less effort this time. Your sit up with the nose pushing towards the ceiling. Try not to nod your chin in. Feel the deep contraction in your rib cage. Hold it for a moment. Inhale, exhale and lower. Now ensure your right arm has the palm facing up. Inhale, exhale, and as you lift the nose to the sky, slowly roll the right palm down to face, internally rotating your arm bone in the socket, squeezing the side waist and contracting the shoulder forward. Again, this is the position that you're in when you're mousing on the computer. Inhale, Exhale and roll your arm bone into an external rotation, opening through the front of the shoulder and the chest as you're relaxing your head back down. Once your back of head touches your cushion or the floor, completely let go. Remember the relaxation phase is as important as the contraction and release. Let's try this one more time. Inhale. Exhale and drawing your nose to the sky, roll your right palm down to face the floor, internally rotating your arm bone in the socket. Feel the squeeze on the side waist and the contraction in the front of the shoulder. Inhale, exhale and roll your arm bone back into an external rotation as you slowly lower your head back down. The waist is lengthening, the chest is opening as the arm and wrist roll. Relax completely. Now roll onto your back and notice the sensations of the side you've just worked and the opposite side and just how they compare one to the other, particularly at the back of your waist, which you might find is flatter, the length of the legs, Notice if there's any discrepancy. The flatness of your shoulder blade. You could even just gently with eyes closed turn your head from side to side because you've been working your neck as you've done this. Now gently roll over and we're going to repeat this on your right hand side. So lie on your right hand side. Have a pillow under your head poking out backwards. Make sure your legs, your ankles are not tucked underneath you. That your legs are in an L shape, the feet and ankles are matched. Arms are out in front of you like an arrow. Inhale. Exhale and rainbow the arm above you, above your shoulder, at shoulder height. Following it with your eyes as you land, using support if you need it. Notice in particular the differences of this side of the body compared to the other. Very gently arch your lower back a little and see if you can get a bit more twist. Inhale. Exhale and come back, bringing the arm back to its neighbor. Rest completely. Inhale. Exhale and rainbow the arm above you, following it with your eyes. Land on the support or on the floor, gently arcing your lower back to see if you can twist a little further. Inhale. 
exhale and untwist. Now once more, in your own time, behaving like a little borrower inside your muscles, investigating what you can feel, particularly in the twist at the thoracic spine. After this last one, leave your arm behind you, support it on something if necessary, and take your right arm and put it under your ear. Allow the elbow to relax out to the side. Inhale, and on the exhale, lift your head straight up towards the ceiling, nose up, not nodding down towards the hips. Feel the ribs and the side waist muscles contracting. Inhale. Exhale and slowly bring your head down and completely relax. Let's repeat that. Inhale. Exhale and gently begin your sit up. Notice the deep contraction in your rib cage, your upper side waist, and right down into your hip, even your groin. Inhale. Exhale and lengthen through the side waist muscles in particular. Relaxing your neck. And once your head reaches the ground, completely relaxing. Do you notice how far you've twisted now? Let's try and see if we can get that a little bit further by doing one more. Inhale. Exhale and perform this side lying sit up, poking your nose up to the ceiling, contracting side waist and ribs, right down into the hip and groin. Inhale, exhale, and slowly release. Now ensure your left arm has the palm facing up. Inhale, Exhale, and as you lift the nose to the sky, slowly roll the palm to face down, internally rotating your arm bone in the socket, squeezing the side waist and contracting the shoulder forward. This is the position that you'd be in when you're mousing on the computer or when you're lying curled up in a little ball in bed, the side waist muscles tightening all overnight and the shoulder in a rounded posture. Inhale, exhale and roll your arm bone into an external rotation, opening up through the front of the shoulder, opening in the chest, relaxing the head back down, then completely let go. Inhale, exhale, lift Repeat that movement exactly, lifting your nose up to the sky and rolling your left palm to face downwards, internally rotating in the arm bone, squeezing and contracting side waist muscles right down into hips, shoulder forward. Inhale. Exhale and feel your waist lengthening, your chest opening as your arm and wrist roll into that external and much more open position. Now very gently roll onto your back and notice all the sensations of your body. Hopefully we've evened you out, but notice what there is to notice. Completely relax and let go. Mm -hmm.